For my first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to extract models from games that use the Unreal Engine using a software called UModel. All links will be put into the comments or on my blog with this tutorial video. Okay, so once you install UModel, I find that it's easiest to put all the files into the folder that contains the objects you're going to be looking for. So I'm going to use Borderlands as an example. So I'm going to go to my project files folder and then Steam and then Steam apps and then Common Borderlands 2 Willow Game and then Cooked PCC Console Okay, so you can see that I have these three files right here, Extract, UModel, and SDL. Those are the UModel files. So I'm going to go and open up UModel. So this option will come up. I don't usually look for animations or light maps, so I'm going to uncheck those two things. And I'm going to look for textures, static mesh, and skeletal mesh. Now you can not look for textures, you can not look for static, you can do any of those things. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to be a minute, but once it opens, there you go, you'll get a list of different UPK files. So as you can see, there's a whole ton of different files in here. Let's say that we want to look for a standard object. I'm not going to go into guns in this video because guns are extremely complicated. Usually you can find different character models for bad guys and stuff in the grass dynamic or grass combat. So combat and dynamic are things that move, things that are different, but I usually start in the startup.upk folder to see if I can find it in there. That's one of the biggest ones you can find. So, might take a few minutes to load, depending on the speed of your computer, and then you'll get this window. This is all of the textures, skeletal messages, and if you type in H, you can see all the different commands you have. Uh, using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard, you can cycle through all of the different things. So, you can even hold it down. You're, this may bog down your computer, depending on how fast it is. So pretty soon we'll start seeing some actual 3D objects. Now remember, Startup is the largest, so it has over 17,000 objects in it. Up oh, there they are. So, as you can see, you can see these different objects. These are the ammo. I'm going to go with the missile ammo. Now it's the rocket launcher pickup, as it says in the in the object name here. So I'm just cycling through to show you some of the other things. So we'll go with the rocket launcher pickup. Now, when you type in, when you put in control X, if you see in the command line here, it says exporting texture. So it's going to export it to the folder that you are in. The folder is right here. You can actually see it. Now, it's there because I had already done this before. But it will create the folder if you have not. So, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go into the startup folder. Now, there's a couple different folders in here. Let's go to the static mesh. And I found it. The static mesh gives us a rocket launcher pickup file. But it is a .psk file. Now, I currently use a software called Blender, which is free. When you install Blender, you will have to find an 
you will have to find a plugin that will import PSK files. So I already have it in there. Um, if people need me to show them how to install these plugins, I can, but I will include links to other people's tutorials as to how to do this. So I'm going to go to import skeleton mesh.psk file. And then I have to navigate to that startup folder that it saved it to. You can always move it after you've created it. That works just as well. Common, Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Cooked PCC, Startup. We want static mesh. You can see that it says rocket launcher pickup.pskx. Now, Blender will only import PSK files, so you can just rename it and it should work fine. Yes. So I'm going to try that again. Import PSK rocket launcher. Boom. Okay, now we don't need to edit it. We just want to get this into an STL file. So we're going to go straight to export and we're going to actually export it to a DAE file. I'm going to save it here as rocket refill and then we're going to export the DAE file. Okay, so now we're going to use software called SketchUp. SketchUp is made by Google, uh, or excuse me, made by Trimble. It was originally owned by Google. So once we open SketchUp, we're going to import that DAE file. Now you'll have to go to file type and make it into DAE. Go to computer, new, and we've got rocket refill.dae. It'll import it fine. Okay. So, if you're familiar or unfamiliar with SketchUp, there are several different things about it. I'm going to double click on the main object, and then I'm going to triple click on different parts. So do you see how if I type if I move the object it's going to just be a separate piece. So what I want to do is I want to make this specific piece into a component. So I'm going to make that a component and I'll say component 1. And I'm going to triple click on this one, make that into a component. I'm going to triple click this one and make that into a component. And then if you hold down control, you can triple click on multiple pieces and make them all one component. That should work fine. Okay, so right now we have four components. What we want to do is we want to export this as a DAE again. So we go, sorry, we go to File, Export, 3D Model, and then make sure it's under DAE. So we're going to name it Rocket Refill Version 2. Okay, now we're going to go to a software called FreeCAD, also free. Okay, oops. So we're going to go to open and navigate to wherever we saved that. So then here it is, rocket refill v2.dae. I'm going to open that. Okay, so you can see here that there are multiple meshes in this. So a few more than than we actually saved into components, but as you can tell it is saving the different pieces. 
and that's what we want. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to this drop down menu and select part. So if you click on one of these meshes and press the spacebar, it hides it. It's not deleting it, it's just hiding it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make each of these meshes into a solid. So I'm going to select all of these meshes on the sidebar and then go to part up in the top bar and say create shape from mesh and then just click OK. So now we have individual shapes, FreeCAD calls them, in this file. So I'm going to select the meshes and hide them. Now these meshes each can be converted into a step file by converting them into a solid. So if you go to the part, select one of the meshes, go to the part menu, and then say convert to solid, it'll make a solid version of that mesh. So then we go to part, convert to solid. You can actually do them all at once if you select them all and say convert to solid. Now, you'll notice that some of them didn't work. I'm going to hide these current solids that did work. But mesh 008 worked, so we're going to hide that one. Mesh 006001 worked. We're going to hide that one. 4 and 5 also worked. And 7 also worked. However, these did not work. That is okay. This should still work. So I'm going to delete the meshes that weren't solids. And then delete these old meshes. And now we have this file right here. What I want to do is I want to export each of these separate pieces as a step file. So I'm going to click on this one and then go to part and say export CAD. Now it's going to default to a step file. So we'll just name that part one, or rocket one. And then I'm going to hide it, so I know I've already saved it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of these. Okay, so now we have the files that we need in order to use them in Autodesk Fusion. So this is Autodesk Fusion. If you're unfamiliar with it, I will make a tutorial video on intro to Fusion at some point in the future. So we're going to go back to the beginning and say new project. I'm going to call it Rocket Refill. So once you have the rocket refill. I'm going to upload those step files that I just made into this folder. So right there, rocket. So I'm going to upload those files and click upload. It may take a while for the files to upload, so you may have to wait. Once all of them are loaded in, you simply save a new document as rocket refill complete. Okay, so now you can drag these different objects into Fusion. Oh, 
when you drag them in, press enter to keep them in the place that you, you want them. Otherwise, they won't line up properly when you're done. So you'll notice that there's a lot of things wrong with this. That's okay. In a different video, I will show you how to model using this as a reference. Now, to be honest, these are not coming in very nicely at all. However, they will work as a reference. There are many other things you can do to repair these models. However, at the moment, this is the completed video. Um, this is how what I wanted to show you today, so uh, stay tuned.